Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan has criticized the West's silence on Israel's Gaza attacks, asserting that this lack of condemnation implies approval of lawlessness globally. In a joint news conference with his Bosnian counterpart in Ankara, Fidan stated that remaining silent on Israel's actions equates to giving a green light to lawlessness worldwide. There is one thing more grave, uh, which is that the Western countries are keeping their silence regarding to events unfolding in Gaza. In order to break down the resistance, the mosques, the hospitals and the schools are bombed uh, and we cannot keep our silence regarding to those attacks. So I am calling upon the Western countries not to be a, a partner in crime by keeping their silence. Describing the ongoing attacks in Gaza as inhumane and a source of shame, Fidan expressed concern over the targeting of mosques hospitals and schools. He emphasized the need to speak out against such assaults and condemn the destruction carried out in an attempt to break down resistance in Gaza. Fidan's remarks highlight Turkey's stance on the situation in Gaza and its call for international accountability. South Africa's ruling African National Congress has pledged support for a parliamentary motion advocating the closure of the Israeli embassy and the suspension of all diplomatic ties with Israel. The opposition party, Economic Freedom Fighters, plans to present this motion, emphasizing solidarity with the Palestinian people and echoing South Africa's historical support dating back to Nelson Mandela's era. The ANC statement aligns with the motion urging the government to shut the Israel embassy and halt diplomatic relations until Israel agrees to a ceasefire. This development underscores the enduring resonance of South Africa's anti-apartheid struggle, drawing parallels between the Palestinian plight and the nation's pre-1994 struggle. Thai Muslim politicians have received assurances from Hamas that if a Gaza truce is achieved, all 25 Thai hostages held will be released. The hostages were among those abducted on October 7, with 39 reported killed. Lepong Sayed, president of the Thai Iran Alumni Association, conveyed the pledge stating that the release could occur within three to five days of a ceasefire, possibly sooner. Pakistan calls on Israel's backers to halt what it describes as the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians. The Foreign Office spokesperson, Mumtaz Zahra Baloj, accuses Israel of intentionally rendering Gaza uninhabitable through the destruction of civilian infrastructure and symbols of self-governance. Pakistan also condemns Israel's wars on hospitals in Gaza as hospital after hospital is being targeted by the occupation forces in complete disregard of international law. We are appalled by Israeli incursion in Al-Shifa hospital, placing patients, medical staff, and civilians at risk. We join the international community to hold Israeli occupation accountable for its attacks against hospitals. Israel must also be held accountable for deliberately targeting mosques, churches and schools, sheltering civilians who have rendered homeless because of Israel's destruction of their homes. By decimating civilian infrastructure and symbols of self-governance, including the Legislative Council, Israel is deliberately making Gaza uninhabitable for its civilian population. Backers of Israel must stop Israel from implementing its plans for ethnic cleansing of the Palestinian people. She emphasizes the Arab Islamic Summit's demand for countries to seize exporting weapons and ammunition to Israel, preventing their use against Palestinians. Urging swift and collective action, Baloch calls on the international community to intervene, holding Israel accountable for alleged war crimes in Palestinian territory.